जय श्री राधे सब वैष्णव को जय श्री कृष्ण टुडे इज डे सेवेंटी एट एंड वार्ता फिफ्टी सेवन स्टोरी ऑफ जडुनाथ दास अक्षत्रिय फ्रॉम जौनपुर पार्ट वन Jadunath was a servant to the king of Jonpur where he lived. In Jonpur there was one elephant keeper whose wife was very beautiful and who was a disciple of Sri Gosai ji. She was a very accomplished Vaishnava. Jadunath caught sight of her one day and was in awe of her thinking, are there really such beautiful people on this earth? After this he would drink only only drink water after he had seen her. In this way he was ex- extremely attached to her she would always clean her teeth next to one small window which faced jadunath's house he would always stare at her while she was cleaning his t- her teeth only then would he get on with his daily work one day she realized that he was fixated on her and decided to test his mind that day she arose from her sleep quite late jadunath had not yet managed to see her face that day from the morning very sad he mounted his horse and went to his job in the king's court afterwards he turned back from there He went to her house to try to catch sight of her she was sleeping it was midday jadunath sent his horse home with one of his men he told him to have his lunch for he would be coming home later the man went off home he tied up the horse cooked and waited for jadunath for a long time he then ate covered the rest of the food and went to sleep the lady got up at about 3 o'clock that day she decided to massage her head and wash her hair when she was bathing she asked of her maid please go and stand on the road to have a look and check if there is anyone coming and going then i will quickly take my bath when the maid saw that jadunath had been standing there for quite some time she smiled the lady asked her why she, why she was smiling she said well there is no one else coming or going but that man locked into his fate has been standing there for hours the lady said he is standing there because he is deluded he should apply his mind to the lord in the same way that he is attached to me then he would be fulfilled what is so special about my body that is he is bound by such love for it jadunath heard what they said at that very moment he called to the maid and asked her to convey this question please tell me how i can meet the lord babrakash Why because these two are both souls from the eternal leela Jadunath's name is Ruparasika and the lady's name is Gajagamani because she walks like an elephant therefore she Takuji always keeps her close to him he tries to learn from her how to walk like that Ruparasika would always ask Gajagamani how to get to meet the lord Ruparasika would follow Gajagamani's every instruction because she is extremely attached to the Lord's form and so could not live for a single moment without him. Ruparasika is in the Shruti Rupa group of gopis and is Dhruvananda Das's daughter. She manage, manifests from her and is therefore a form of her tamasi loving sentiment. Gajagamani is also part of the Shruti Rupa of gopis. The two of them have great affection for each other. It is thus that Ruparasika asks Gajagamani just how to meet the lord part 1 continued the lady sent word to him in the lineage of shivalaba charity shri gosai ji shri vitalnat ji has appeared he is the lord himself you should go to him and become his disciple the maid came to jatanath and told him this jatanath returned home he paid off all his servants with a month's wages and put all of his wealth into a money order he prepared a cloth that doubles as a mat and stuffed the money in order into it and donning the garb of a renunciate set off he made up his mind that he would only eat fruits until he managed to meet shri gosai ji and that he would only make cooked preparations after he had had the sight of shri gosai ji and been initiated by him making the swarm vow he set off from his home as he was leaving a group of shri gosai ji's vaishnava disciples was also setting off The village had received the advance news that Shri Gosai ji was coming there and they were all setting off to greet him and bring him to the village. Jadunath met them. He asked them where they were off to and they replied that Shri Gosai ji was on his way there and that they were going to greet him and accompany him into the village. He asked them which lineage Shri Gosai ji was from, whose son he was and what was his name. The Vaishnava said, "Oh listen, Shri Gosai ji has appeared in the lineage of Shri Vallabha Charya ji as his son. His name is Shri Vitanath ji." Jadunath then very excitedly accompanied those Vaishnavas. Shri Gosai ji was a little way from Jonpur. His chariot approached. As he arrived, Jadunath was the first to very enthusiastically bow down to Shri Gosai ji. He recited this two-line verse for him. Jadunath was locked in love for a piece of glass that he thought was a jewel. It dropped and when he stepped outside of his delusion to search for it he found the real thing. 
Shri Gosaiji was very happy to hear this verse. Jadunath told Shri Gosaiji everything and he was again very pleased. Shri Gosaiji proceeded to Jonpur and went to stay at one Vaishnava's home. He then went to bathe in the holy Go- river Gormati that flowed nearby. After he had bathed and was seated to give audience, Jadunath approached him and said, O Maharaj, please accept me as your disciple. Shri Gosaiji instructed Jadunath to bathe. He did so and dressed in pure clothing, then prostrated to Sri Gosaiji. Sri Gosaiji blessed him by initiating him with the Lord's name and changed his name to Jadunath Das. Then Jadunath Das donated all the money he had tied in his bundle to Sri Gosaiji. Quite some time later, Jadunath Das came to Sri Natadwara with Sri Gosaiji to have the holy site of Sri Govard and Naji. Jadunath Das was very happy thereby. Jadunath Das then served Sri Govard Naji for some time, and by doing so he made the Lord so happy that he soon began to let Jadunath Das experience his direct contact. He used to tell Jadunath Das exactly what he wanted. Jadunath Das would go and relay the message to Sri Gosaiji. Sri Gosaiji would say, would then offer exactly that on Sri Jadunath Das's say so. Sri Govardhanath she was most pleased with Jadunath Das and began to speak directly with him. Jadunath Das was told Sri Gosaiji. Jadunath Das told Sri Gosaiji what he had said, and Sri Gosaiji was delighted by Jadunath's words. Sri Gosaiji's pleasure brought Jadunath great joy. Sri Gosaiji did exactly as Jadunath said, for he knew how great Sri Govardhanath's blessings were upon him. Jadunath Das would say, he found the real thing because this was the experience that Sri Gosaiji had afforded him. The purpose of the purport of this tale is that the foremost principle of this path is loving attachment to the divine. The Lord soon accepts those who have divinely oriented attachment. Thus concludes Varta 57, the story of Jadunath Das, who was the recipient of Sri Gosaiji's great grace and an accomplished Vaishnava. There is no end to his tale. Shri Giriraj Dharan Kije, Sabrishna Unkuje Shri Krishna. This concludes the reading for today. We continue tomorrow. Jai Shri Radhi.